wonderful festival of Bungayness, an unprecedented game, we believe for the first time ever in the world. A game in which the team, every single player, the officials, the physio, and even the mascot coming onto the pitch here, all share the same name, Bungay. Unprecedented, definitely. Bizarre, possibly. Exciting, absolutely. And we're about ready to kick off and we're away. Bungay gets us underway. Uh, the game started at an, uh, an improbable pace in as much as there are some people actually running out there. Uh, lofted high by Bungay into Bungay's area. And just the six Dr. Bungay standing by in the unlikely event. And let's not talk it up that uh, somebody uh, suffers a little twinge or a knock or whatever. The Magic Sponge is standing by ready and waiting. I spoke to one of the Bungays before the game. They said they had a game plan. Keep it tight. Uh, they're they're travelling support. The Bungay crew, as they're known, um, are known to get frustrated very quickly. And they think if they can silence them and perhaps get the Bungays on the back of the Bungays uh, after the first 20 minutes, then the, the game will certainly be in the Bungays' hands. Could make all of the difference. Uh, it really could, um, as the ball is knocked back by Bungay to Bungay. First time out to Bungay. And uh, it's Bungay here now, letting the ball roll out for a Bungay throw. There's a chance. There's an early chance. 1-0, 1-0 Bungay. Out of nothing against the run of play, it has to be said. The number 15 for Bungay, who I believe is Bungay. He took that with some aplomb, didn't he, Kevin? That looked very much like Bungay who got on the end of it. You're beginning to think that the, 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 the Bungay defence is being stretched. As we look for a second and it's looped in. And it's that number 15 again. Two goals in two minutes from the lad Bungay. He's looked dangerous from the moment he stepped onto the field. He's carrying a bit of timber, but I tell you what, he's got the first two yards in his head, that lad. And when he gets a sight on goal, instinct simply takes over. Oh, top draw and a wonderful goal from Bungay there, putting Bungay 2-0 up. Well, he's, he, he's a lad who can score every type of goal, isn't he, Kev? Left foot, right foot. Uh, scuffed over the goalie's head or simply toe punted under the goalie's legs. When he gets a sight on goal, he's an instinctive poacher. That's that solitary penalty for Bungay. For Bungay about midway through this half. A play here. And it's two oh, and it's two all. Maggie Thatcher, Winston Churchill, Lady Diana, we whipped your boys, goal! And no one expected that, least of all, Mad Dog Bungay, uh, the goalkeeper for the Bungays this afternoon. All of some 25, 30 yards from Bungay. Uh, and drawing a, a decent save out of Bungay. There's a half-time whistle goes, and it's 3-2 uh, to Bungay. How do you see that first 45 then? Uh, ironically, I would say that it was Bungay who dominated possession for most of that first half, though. Oh, I think I have to go along with that. They certainly did. Bungay, uh, having uh, having started on the front foot, Bungay, it was then Bungay who really came into the game, uh, showing a little bit more stamina, if anything. They really stamped their mark on uh, on this for the for first uh, 45 minutes. Uh, and, of course, both managers now, both in the Bungay dressing room and, indeed, in the Bungay dressing room, I think they've got a lot of harsh words to say here. I wouldn't, for one, I wouldn't want to be in there right now. I think there'll be quite a bit of hairdryer treatment going on. Teacups thrown, no doubt. Undoubtedly. Who knows what the second half will bring. Just before we get the action on, um, underway, I have a couple of announcements. We have a lost child <coughs> by the name of Bungay in the manager's office. That's Bungay. So if anyone has a child here today called Bungay, please report to the manager's office. There's been a number of half-time substitutions to fill you in on as well. Bungay is off for Bungay. And on for Bungay is Bungay. Uh, also... But Bungay, Bungay replaces Bungay, who is substituted because he's exhausted and rubbish. And we're away. Bungay kicking left to right and indeed right to left. Wonderful raking pass from Bungay. And he's just picked out, I can't quite make out, I think it's, I think it's Bungay. He's through, the young lad's through there and he's knocked it in. Oh, and it's gone oh, in. What a goal. What a remarkable goal from the young lad. Oh. And that's got to be the celebration <laughs> of the day. Charlie George, 1971 FA Cup final for Arsenal against Leeds, as I recall. 
took it with great aplomb, celebrated in true style, and that could, it's early days, but that could yet be the match winner here in this historic game, 4-3, Just ran out of steam there as he broke through the middle. Still, though, confident build-up. We say their heads are dropped, but they're finding something from oh, somewhere. And what on earth happened there? Extraordinary scenes. One minute it looked as if the danger was clear. The next minute, and... Oh, oh and there's there. a tantrum. There's a tantrum. The jet lag has finally got the better of him. He flew in from across the globe. Little more than 24 hours beforehand. He had a nightmare up front in the first half. He switched to goal in the second half and he is storming off in disgust at himself. What colour card is he going to get for this? It's got to be red, surely. The referee has no option. He's gone toe to toe with the referee. What's going to happen next? He's an intimidating uh, figure of a man, isn't he? Yeah, I wouldn't want to. And it's a blue card. But <laughs> Seems rather lenient considering. Well, one can only assume the referee didn't see half of what happened there. And a yellow and a red. He's got a yellow, red and a blue. The full set. Injection of youth there. Back. Oh, and look at that on There's the edge of the box. There's some kind They've of pile-up in the air and we've got a penalty. Well, I think it could be two penalties. I think that was such a bad tackle. There could be two penalties to be had there. So the ball goes on the spot. We don't know if it'll be 24. Looking to bag his hat-trick, is it? 24? They need it. Oh, have you been overruled by the older man? Isn't that cruel? <laughs> He's on a hat trick, but the big number 14's come along, pushed him out of the way and said, no, lad, this is mine. Let's hope he misses. Oh, and he has. <laughs> I put the curse on him there. All I can say is it serves you right. <laughs> well, difficult to argue with that. <laughs> Young lady in question still limping, I think you'll notice her. Well, it's Dr. Bungie. We haven't seen the magic sponge uh, throughout the course of the afternoon. I mean, you've got an ideal opportunity there to go and play a trade. Dr. Bungay, of course, immortalised by Gloria Estefan and the Miami Sound Machine <laughs> in the 1980s with their hits. Oh, no, sorry, that was Dr. B. <laughs> Ref is not really making himself clear. I don't know whether... Didn't point to the spot, but nevertheless, it's a penalty. And at last, the young 24 gets a chance at his hat-trick. He scored a penalty in the first half. It's Bungay to face Bungay. He steps up with confidence. And there it is. The second hat-trick of the day. And if anyone deserves it, it's him. And the Bungays, on the other hand, notoriously resilient. <laughs> and that's it. The final whistle goes. And there we are. And we have a final score of Bungay 6. Bungay 6. An honourable draw, ladies and gentlemen. And perhaps, Sam, in the circumstances, the fair, right and proper result. Of course, there is a cut today. Uh, it was inscribed before the match, which is another unprecedented event. They'd inscribed the winners onto the trophy before the match even kicked off. Uh, one thing was for sure, the winners would be called Bungay. Uh, who will lift that is unclear. I don't know, perhaps we can find a way of setting it. Perhaps they could wrestle, I'm not sure. OK, so we're going to ask both captains, uh, the, the Bungay captain and also the Bungay captain, if they'd step forward to jointly receive this trophy. Let's have a round of applause. Fantastic. There were ugly scenes throughout the game, but it's nice to see they can still shake hands at the end of 90 minutes and lift the love, the inaugural Bungay Cup.